Today we're going to turn the standard Harbor Freight two-wheel dolly into a uh, light-duty trailer dolly with a couple parts that got laying around the house. I didn't come up with this idea on my own. I saw a couple other people do this on YouTube and I uh, this is the design that worked for me. So I'll just show you what I did. Uh, if you like the video, hit like. If you want some more videos, uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is a really simple idea. Uh, I just wanted, you know, I took these two boards that are now removable from the dolly and they're three feet uh, long. And um, I'm just gonna attach this small board to this and then I'm gonna put like something to get into here. You could use just a trailer ball if you wanted. I like to keep my trailer locked at my house. So I'm gonna use just like a hook or something. I'll show you um, to do that. But anyway, the design is that, you know, this, this piece is free but the weight will push down on it so it's not gonna go anywhere. And you know, you basically just move it up to your uh, thing and it picks up and you can roll it around your property. So super convenient, this thing comes off and then you just have to store this little, you know, this little piece, these couple pieces of wood instead of storing a whole separate trailer dolly. Again, light duty, I don't know if I do this with the trailer loaded with, you know, much more than a couple hundred pounds, but anyway, um, that's it. So we'll put this thing together. Here's what you're gonna to need to put this together. You're gonna to need your two boards. These are three feet each. You're gonna need uh, the small board for the end. This is four and a half inches. These are just two by fours. Uh, you're gonna need some tape, a sock. Stay with me, stay with me, a sock. Uh, I'm gonna use this eyelet bolt because I just had it and it just screws right into the board. You could use a piece of a bolt if you got one or you know you could use a trailer ball, like I said. A couple screws and a screw gun. I'll show you how we're going to put this together. All right, first we're going to attach this little board to the end of this. Uh, I'm going to pre-drill these holes because this wood's really old. And I know it's going to split if I don't. It might even split if I do, but hopefully not. Next, we're gonna put our eyelet in to lift the trailer up. Uh, I could have used a trailer ball, but I use this so that it can slide in there even when the trailer's locked. Um, and you wanna pre-drill for this too, or it's gonna split. So, you know, just pick a drill bit that's pretty smaller than the threads, but decent size. Next, I'm gonna wrap this hook in an old sock that I have and then wrap that with tape just to stop this from scratching the inside of my trailer uh, receiver where the ball goes. Uh, I don't know if it will or not, I mean, it, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna wrap some tape around that and that'll be held on there. It kinda looks like a trailer ball. Okay, it does work, uh, you know, it lifts the trailer up, um, but I did run into just a couple issues. I did split this wood. It's just a little bit too much stress on that wood, so I gotta come up with a better thing that there. And when you're pushing and pulling uh, with a lot of weight, it tends to slide on this, um, this dolly. So I'm gonna put two pieces of wood on there to lock that in, and I'm gonna come up with a little bit stronger design for the top of that. All right, we beefed it up quite a bit. Uh, what we're gonna use, I have a piece of this left over from doing a swing set. It's a piece of cedar um, landscape tie. And it's about, I, got, I made it about 10 inches long, about nine and a half inches long. And um, that way I'll be able to kind of screw it in a little more and get really good bite on that hook. So that's what we're gonna use. So we're gonna attach this to the board. All right, and to stop the dolly from slipping, I got these two boards. This is one's three and a quarter, this one's three and a half, and we're just gonna screw those on here, and then the dolly will sit right in here, and there's just a little bit of wiggle room, uh, so you can kind of move it around. Uh, so we'll put these in, and that should stop it from sliding around. All 
All right, last I gotta put this hook in again. I think I'm gonna put it about right here and um, I'm gonna bury it, you know, pretty deep so that it's using mostly, you know, this whole block of wood uh, as stability. So hopefully it won't split. We'll see what happens. Here's the final design. All you gotta do is uh, slide it on your trailer or on your dolly, like that. And there you go. And I've got uh, quite a bit of weight on this trailer right now. I actually have a old place that, that I need to get off of there. And it actually works, um, seems to move it around. This uh, board did not split, so it's much uh, it's much stabler, and I think it's going to work. So yeah, that's a good way to just reuse a dolly that you've already got to move your trailer around your property. And uh, thanks to the other YouTubers that did something similar that gave me this idea. Hopefully this helps you out. If you liked the video, hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, hit subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.